video, one skill, five minutes or less. Let's go. Hello, it's Jerry here with another five minute zero up skill. Today we're going to learn about leave loading and how to set it up in zero. We're going to look at how to add the leave loading rate in the leave type. We're going to see how to set up the employee as eligible for leave loading. It will also have a quick look at how to pay missed leave loading if you haven't been paying leave loading and you should have been. Let's have a look in Xero. Setting up leave loading in Xero really covers two key areas, setting up the leave type correctly and setting up the employee correctly. So first of all, let's go and have a look at the leave type. Let's go to settings and payroll settings. Once you're in payroll settings, we need to go to the pay items and under pay items, we're going to find leave. In Australia, we often pay leave loading to employees when they get paid their annual leave. And that's obviously what we're talking about here. So we need to select annual leave. And once we've selected the leave type annual leave, if you are paying leave loading, in order for it to be activated in zero, you need to enter the leave loading rate here in this leave type. So most commonly it's 17.5%. So you type in leave loading rate 17.5. That's all you have to do to enter in the leave loading rate inside Xero. So how do we next go and set up the employee or activate that in particular employee if they need to be paid leave loading? Let's go to employees and have a look. So under payroll, we go to employees. We'll select this employee. Go to the taxes tab. And if your employee is eligible to receive leave loading, you select this tick box here on the top right hand corner. Once you tick that tick box, hit save. And from now on, that person will be eligible for leave loading. When you pay them annual leave, leave loading will also be calculated as part of that. Now, once people learn how to do this, and sometimes it's the fact that they didn't know that that's how it needed to be set up inside Xero, they may have missed paying some leave loading. So if you have missed paying leave loading, the way you need to back pay that person leave loading is to run an unscheduled pay run for the same week that you paid them where the leave loading was missed, and then you would add a new earnings type for that uh, uh, a new earnings type for that leave loading. So let's go and have a look at that. So we go to settings, payroll settings, and assuming you haven't set this up already, we go to pay items. We would add an earnings rate. Let's call it leave loading missed. Put it in the wages account. And there we go. So I've got leave loading missed. We don't have to put a display name because it would just be the earnings name. It's ordinary time earnings. In this case, you're going to be typing in an amount of leave loading that's been missed once you've calculated it. So I've just put rate as fixed amount. Optional, it, this is not the amount for the person you're back paying. This is the amount uh, if you were to be paying a set amount each time. And expense account, I'm just putting it to the wages account here. So hit save and now when we, if we were to go and run an unscheduled pay run in order to pay that person their back pay of leave loading that was missed, we would have that leave loading rate there um, available so we can type in the amount that they uh, should have been paid on the leave loading. But if you have it set up correctly in the first place, then you shouldn't have any issues at all. All right, that is five minutes on how to set up and manage leave loading in Xero. The five minute Xero up skill is brought to you by Ecosystem Expert Academy. If you would like more Xero tips or lessons, head over to the Academy website, ecosystemexpertacademy.com.